As in any form of eye surgery, the preparations you make before even touching the eye are as important as the surgery itself. If you don't position the patient perfectly, for example, this will bother you during the whole procedure. Take your time to make sure you create the ideal circumstances to do the relax mouth surgery. As they say, failing to prepare is preparing to fail. The reason for this is simple. A surgical procedure is a sequence of steps that need to be performed one after the other. And the quality of every step has an after effect that influences the next one. Imperfection in one step leads to even more imperfection in the next steps. So first of all, properly position your patient. When positioning the patient on the treatment bed, also called the patient supporting system, look at the position of the head from the side. Make sure the head is horizontal and look at the anatomy of the face and the orbit. Position the eye and the orbit as symmetrically as possible making sure that the inferior and superior orbital rim are not going to intervene with a proper positioning of the treatment objective over the eye. To do that, move the headrest up and down. The treatment objective that holds the contact glass is quite bulky. In some cases, it can come into contact with the patient's nose, preventing proper alignment of the eye with the contact glass. In most cases, it is better to turn the patient's head slightly away from the treatment objective. Cover the surgical field with a sterile ophthalmic drape after disinfection. Make sure to keep all eyelashes out of the way because exposed eyelashes could get under the contact glass, increasing the risk of suction loss. Bring the patient's eye into the treatment position by moving the supporting system. This is done by using the joystick. You want to repeatedly check the position of the head and the eye when the cornea is approaching the contact glass. Also, check the position of the eye in the operating microscope on the left hand side monitor. In order to remove everything that could be floating on the cornea, wipe the cornea with a wet microsurgical sponge. The trick is to first wet the sponge and then squeeze it. This will give the perfect instrument to remove all debris and lint from the surface without leaving the cornea too dry.